Hello stalkers, I'm Haunt Reaper, and now we can see the theme for those who tried to edit config files and deleted game eventually, and for those who is still looking for game data folder. So you can do this if you all figure out this video. Let's start with fact that game has a huge amount of config files, which can be edited by usual node, but the problem is that all of them locates in the game data folder, which doesn't appear by usual installing of game. Almost all game information locates in archives with DB extension. For example, in Clear Sky it locates in Resources folder. Free. One more. Also in different folders more. In case of Shadow of Chernobyl, it locates in root folder. So, if you want to create the folder game data, you should use a special program. For example, X-Ray Archiver. So, the full its name you see on the screen. You can find it on different stalker resources. But I'll make a link to below this video. This one can work with all game versions. Text file has some explanations about working this program. But given the fact that not all of us will understand it, let me explain. As you see, actually it's not archiver, rather a converter. And archiving is one of its many functions, as converting different files of X-Ray engine. And this is only one function I'll tell you about. Actually, this is supported by only Windows console, and if you like to work with console, you have to replace these four files to the Windows System 42 folder. You can call the console using Win and R keys, and type into this field CMD. Now we can directly call this program from console. If you enter the name of this program, tips will appear in console. So you can unpack from the console. But if you are definitely afraid of the console, you can choose another variant. BAT file. With a simple string in Notepad, which enter into the console automatically. In the case of executing, for that to work, you must change the extension from txt to bat. If you want to edit, make right-click on the file, then edit. Advantage of the bat file is that it don't need files in System32 folder. It works with program in same folder. And now the script. I have prepared some scripts for unpacking archives in different games. For example, call of prepad. So this is a structure of script. First, call in the program. Next, option of action. In this case, we need unplug. Then, format of archive. Call of prepad complies with xdb format. Then we need indicate file path. As well as in Counter-Strike console, make sure there are no non-English letters in the path. Here you can see that after entering something Russian, response is like a request. Hm, I think I can read it. It says here that go to the study English, idiot. Never mind. If you have one space at least, you should use the quotes. Folder names are separated by slashes. You don't have to enter full name of your disk section, you need only the letter and color. Then dir option. It's a destination folder, you should use same rules as a path of archive. Then you can enter pause command next string. It's not necessary, but if you want to see results in console, use it. Now let's consider the formats you indicate after unpack option. Different versions of games works with different formats, and if you indicate wrong version, script can refuse to do it or it just won't do anything. You can find this section of this text file. There are all formats converter supports. Stalker Shadow of Chernobyl works with these two formats. Steam version complies with 2947WW. Some no Steam versions can prefer RU variants. And XDB format complies with Clear Sky and Call of Prepaid. And other variants can help you if you are using old versions of Shadow of Chernobyl and old builds. So let's see how it's working. 
For example, in Shadow of Chernobyl, we need only one archive, game data DBB. It's the one archive, which includes configurations. We can change it for cheating. If you have HDD disk, unpacking is an offline operation. So let me deliver you from your misery. So I'll show you only the archives that you need. This archive is enough small, and unpacking process will take one second on SSD. Destination folder should be game data, which must be in root folder of game. So you can see process. Look, there are no negative in console, and game data folder is created. So it's not terrible. If game data folder doesn't exist, it will be created by program. But if you indicate wrong path, you'll see angry message as a third string. You can do same in any game versions, but don't forget to change paths. But if you already have this folder, in case of some mode, for example, it's better if you rename that, otherwise you won't be able to restore it. Afterwards, you can always restore its name and mode. In Clear Sky and Call of Prepared, you need only one archive, Configs DB. But you can meet some problems after unpacking. Some files can conflict with archives, but don't delete archives. Now we have to fit our files in game. Actually, we need only config folder, so you can delete all extra folders and files. In Shadow of Chernobyl, UI folder conflicts. You can rename it or delete, or rename and delete. Afterwards, we get working version of Shadow of Chernobyl, Steam and now Steam both. You can change your favorite gun in Weapons folder. In the Creatures folder, you can edit config of any monster, including Mark 1. His file is first. Here you can edit speed of movement, height of jump, and much more. Some of the future videos will be in more detail about it. MISC folder. You can change artifact anomaly parameters or shop of traders. Now consider clear sky. Most conflict part of game. In order to avoid your time waste by all conflict files, you can just delete all you won't need. You should leave the config folder and free folders inside it. Weapons, creatures and misc. You can select all by case Ctrl A. And while holding Ctrl, click to turn off the selection. It's better to use full deleting, that is Shift plus Delete. But it's not end. MISC folder has conflict files too. Get in and leave only two folders. But what about Call of Prepared? Uh, almost nothing. Only one file. Find the knife config in Weapons folder. Remove or rename it. And look at the changes in Call of Prepared I have made. New game. Won't be needing Kalashnikov. I have some boosters, speed, height of jump, and air acceleration, also in vulnerability. It's time to buy the weapon. So, did you find anything out about Megpack? The statue? No, not from our Nobody knows from Medic. Like he's a guy. So, what do you have? The wounded are suffering from... So soon? What it costs? Is it without discount? Hmm, good cost. I need it. 
Hey, stalker! Come here! I got a question for you! Goodbye. I forgot ammo. Ah, never mind. I have changed almost everything in the config of this gun. I would like to make a mess with mercenaries. Turn back, stalker. This place ain't for you. What do you say? Repeat stalker. me. Off with you! Drop that retard! Take this! Do you want to play basketball by these barrels? So that is manual. If you guess this video is useful, a little bit at least, please like. This is easier than making video, after all. Thanks for watching and goodbye.